Hi buddy, hello and welcome once again uh, to this particular channel. As always, I feel honored. Now, today I want to show you some of the 10 tricks that you can always use to get in order to get approved uh, by Google AdSense. Now, my experience through this particular approval uh, process has not been that uh, rosy. So, it is actually important that I share with you uh, some of the success stories and the pitfalls that you can always avoid when you are actually applying for Google AdSense. So if you are joining us for the very first time, uh, kindly feel free to subscribe. And for those who have already subscribed, uh, thanks for your continued uh, support. Now, if you see, I've already opened my one of my websites, right? Learners Coach, I know uh, most of you know it. So the first trick, when you want to get approved uh, uh, to use Google AdSense, is actually to have a custom domain so if you check the domain here you can see it is learnerscoach.co.ke right so you should avoid these other free domains such as blog post uh, google do doesn't like uh, those kind of free domains right so you need to uh, go to or check to a particular hosting company and actually uh, pay for some hosting uh, services so that at least you have a custom domain I'll recommend uh, you check with the uh, Host Pinnacle. So Host Pinnacle is one of the best uh, hosting companies that I always recommend. So all you need to do is just to come and check for the domain name if it's available here, right? So if you want to have appro approval of uh, Google AdSense, you need to ensure that uh, you have a custom domain right so you can see you just come and search for it there if it's available uh, they can always it's already registered so um, i've already registered this particular domain name uh, with them so i think it's ideal that also you just come and check uh, for your domain name if it's available uh, then that is the first process right so don't go for the blog post options uh, that is not going to be a good approach towards uh, ensuring that you get approved uh, by Google AdSense, right? So first is to ensure that you host a custom domain name, right? Number two, uh, you need to add important pages to your website. Now, what are these crucial or important pages that you must have uh, for Google AdSense to be approved? Now, you might think uh, of them as a very minor pages, but they are very crucial. Number one is the contactors page, right? So ensure that your page has a contactors, uh, your website has a contactors page. You can also add uh, about us. But the most crucial one is the privacy policy page. So if you scroll down within this particular website of mine, at the footer, you'll see that I have um, a privacy a policy page right so you can just uh, uh, open it so privacy policy page is very very important if you want to get approved uh, by Google so ensure that you have it so this one can be generated the other important page is the terms and condition just at the bottom also you can see I have terms and conditions page right so these are very very important uh, pages so how do you generate these uh, terms and condition and po uh, privacy policy pages all you need to go is to check uh, within this particular website uh, by Hassan it's called H super tools he provides these free uh, tools uh, to, to be able to generate the privacy policy actually I generated mine using uh, this particular tool they are very free so you just come here like for example privacy uh, policy generator you click on it uh, then it should give you uh, some kind of so you have to type the URL website name learners coach and then the URL then you click on generate right then you're going to have uh, your policy generated at this particular point and you just uh, copy paste it right so maybe uh, my company is learners coach let's, let's see let's just do it practically and then the URL I'll just copy here so this is the URL and then I just come and paste it there and then you generate right so here you are going to have 
well generated. Uh, so you have to do some editing so that you remove these uh, links, right? So yes, Google prefers those essential pages. So I'll repeat, ensure that you have about us page, uh, contact us page, uh, terms and conditions page, and also privacy uh, policy page are very, very crucial. So those are the two tricks. The third trick is site organization. How do you organize your site, right? So you need to have some a well uh, organized navigations, right, or links. As you can see, I have these particular links that can always uh, take my users to other uh, parts of the website, right? You can also see here I have some uh, links. Now, you need to have navigation or categorize your content. So every content that appears within your website uh, needs to fall under a given category. And this category can appear as a what? As a link. So it's very, very important that you have these categories well laid out in form of a navigation uh, links and so on. So it's very, very important to achieve that. Uh, the fourth trick, uh, which actually uh, we often uh, neglect, uh, for instance, when you come to my uh, the back end of my website here, I have used a particular uh, theme. So actually, the the fourth uh, thing to do is to look at the theme. Yeah. So you can see here. Ensure that the theme that you're using is lightweight, lightweight in such a manner that it loads very very fast. Right. So uh, many tutorials, or if you go to website uh, WordPress themes. They are going to recommend uh, those particular themes that you can always use for your website. So it could be a way, an affiliate-based website, an e-commerce website, right? So in my case here, as you can see, I'm using a particular theme, right? And uh, you can see these are the all themes that are available here, right? So you can always uh, check, yeah. You can always uh, uh, check for the, you can add a new theme, you can check for available themes, right? So, uh, mine is a uh, Max Pro, uh, I think, if you check here at the footer, you see I'm using, uh, it's called, as uh, it's known as the theme Pro, Pro Max, <laughs> not Max Pro, <laughs> Pro Max, yeah? So it's the theme that I'm using, it's lightweight, in that it loads very, very fast. So it's, uh, actually, Google prefers a site that uh, doesn't take time uh, to load the content. Yeah, so you have to check on that particular uh, theme. Number five is try to publish between fifteen to twenty uh, articles or other posts. Right. So uh, personally, I have uh, quite a number of posts, but when you're starting off, uh, try to at least have not less than uh, fifteen uh, pages or posts. Right. So you can see here I have over 100 published posts. So this one uh, is uh, maybe for a mature website. But if you want to uh, get approved by Google AdSense, you need to ensure that you have at least 15 to 20 posts. Now, when you are creating this post, also ensure that the length, uh, the length actually uh, meets the required uh, standard. Don't have a very short post. Ideally, have a post that is over 800 words, preferably, right? A post that has uh, over 800 words. Then, number six, avoid using artificial intelligence generated uh, content. Now, I know when I talk about that, we are reminded of chat GPT, right? So, mostly, it's not a bad thing to use chat GPT to generate content. But ideally, when you're starting off, uh, Google doesn't like that, right? So you have to have some kind of interesting and original content uh, before you embark on using this particular what? Uh, AI generated content. I know chat GPT can always give you very nice blog post. But before that, try to ensure that the first 15 posts are crafted originally by you and not by the artificial uh, intelligence. So avoid at all costs 
are starting uh, with this AI generated content when you want to get approved by what? Uh, by Google. Number seven, uh, the seventh trick here is a bit technical, but yes, uh, WordPress has made it very easy, is to be able to link your site with the various Google tools. Uh, I'll recommend that you we check on your plugins. Uh, for example, if you check on your plugins, there's this plugin known as uh, G-Site Kit. It is free. So it's going to enable you uh, to connect with these essential tools. The console, Google Console, and Google Analytics. Uh, ideally, when you send your site for approval, Google will always check uh, these particular essential uh, tools. So the first thing is to ensure that you connect Google Analytics, right? And of course, you need to connect search console. It's a very, very straightforward when you have the a G site kit, it will take you through very, very fast. As long as you have your Gmail account ready, then they can always uh, integrate uh, these particular services, right? So, as you can see, I've already uh, mine is already connected. So, these are very essential, right? They are very essential uh, services that you need to have before you even think of applying for Google AdSense, right? So, search console, uh, Google an Analytics. These are uh, some of the very important tools or services that you need to uh, integrate with your website uh, before you move to uh, playing for this particular Google AdSense. Uh, number eight, don't be in a hurry. Once you have established that uh, maybe you have created your articles, at least give your website uh, 40 to 45 days. Yeah so that you apply for this particular Google AdSense. We have a situation whereby people are very, are in a hurry, I have over 50 articles. Oh, what? Yeah, I can't wait. So you need to give Google time to understand your website, uh, check your various uh, links and everything. So 40 to 45 days is a good uh, waiting uh, period. So don't be in a hurry so that at least uh, you don't get disqualified. Now, number nine, uh, you need to create the Google AdSense account, right? So you can see here, uh, this is the homepage for the Google AdSense. Personally, I've already created, it's a very straightforward. So you need to have this particular account set up, right? So we have this particular get started, you can click on that. If you have an account, you can proceed and uh, click on sign in so here is where ultimately you're going to do it uh, to link your website with this particular adsense right so uh, personally you can see it's taking me it's taking me to my emails but i've already <laughs> i've already created one so it's just going to log me to the back end of this particular uh, google adsense so ensure that at least you create uh, you create this particular uh, Google AdSense account. It's a very straightforward. As you can see, it shows you within the home, it shows you different uh, how you have earned, right? And so on. So uh, this is the other step, the ninth step. Ideally, most people will start by creating this particular Google AdSense account before making their site uh, ready, which is actually not uh, the best uh, thing. Lastly, once you have these, now you go back to your uh, you go back to your site. Now we ha and we have the Google uh, AdSense tool here. You can see I've already connected mine. So the last and final step is to connect your Google AdSense account with your OAT, with your website. And I've mentioned that this particular uh, plugin known as G Site Kit is going to give you all these tools. So you're going to connect with them very very fast as you can see from my end here uh, if you click on the sites section here right you can see uh, that I have one site right that is ready so I connected it with my website and I think I still also have a particular subdomain right so I have a subdomain for my blog so yes uh, ladies and gentlemen I uh, know it's quite a journey to understand all this, 
but to factor in those essential 10 tricks that will enable you get approved very very uh, fast uh, through Google AdSense. As you can see from my website I've also I have a sub a domain which is actually my blog so if you click on that you can see uh, these are ads right because uh, I've already qualified uh, for this particular Google AdSense right. So I have my main website and <coughs> sorry and my blog so you can see this is my blog right so the good thing is that once your main website is approved uh, these other subdomains can always be approved uh, very very fast so once you have your main website approved you can always add other subdomains and they are going to be approved uh, very very fast so thanks and should you find this particular information uh, useful always don't forget to subscribe